our 2020 presidential election is around the corner and your taxes are in debate. So if you're wondering what Joe Biden and President Trump mean for your taxes, make sure you watch this video until the end. What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh from the TheMinorityMindset.com and welcome to The Minority Mindset. With the election around the corner, presidential talks and economic talks are starting to heat up and so I figured since we're a financial news and education channel, this would be a great time to talk about your taxes. More specifically, how Joe Biden and Donald Trump would affect your taxes if they're elected or re-elected. In a nutshell, Donald Trump will be pushing for tax cuts, while Joe Biden will be pushing for tax increases, but this just tells you a little piece of the story. Our United States national deficit skyrocketed in 2020, with the government borrowing money faster than ever to combat this recession. Naturally, Donald Trump and Joe Biden have very different tax plans on how to improve the economy and hopefully reduce our national deficit. I say hopefully reduce our national deficit because it feels like every president, Republican and Democrat, comes into office saying that they're going to reduce our national debt and then they leave the office with a brand new record high national debt. Donald Trump hopes that his tax cuts will help businesses grow faster, which would help you make more money, which would help you have more money to invest, which would in turn help the economy grow faster, which would in turn help generate more tax dollars for the United States government. Joe Biden says stop with all the the turning and just raise taxes on people if you want to generate more tax dollars. So he wants to raise taxes on almost everyone, especially wealthy people and businesses, that way the government can make more money in taxes. That's why in this video I'm going to be going over the different tax plans that Joe Biden and Donald Trump have, that way you can make an educated decision on what to do with your money and your vote. But before we get into that, hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the Minority Mindset YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any of our new financial news and education videos every single week. And hit that little notification bell too because if you don't, well, if you don't, then YouTube won't let you know when any of our new financial news and education videos are released. In 2017, Donald Trump signed the TCJA or the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act into law which made quite a few changes to our tax laws. I'm going to be comparing the changes that he made with the changes that Joe Biden wants to make and then I'm going to be going over some of the changes that Donald Trump says that he would make if he's re-elected. Now I do need to tell you that although I am an attorney, I am not your attorney. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. So if you have specific tax questions, talk to a tax professional in your area. When it comes to regular people, individuals, Donald Trump lowered tax rates for everyone across the board except for people making under $9,525 a year. If you make under $9,525 a year, then your tax rates didn't stay the same, but for everybody else, if you make over $9,500 a year, your effective tax rates dropped. That means this new tax bill helped you pay less money in taxes. He also brought down the top tax bracket from 39.6% to 35%. So if you make a million dollars in wages, for example, the most percentage you'd be paying in taxes is now 35% as opposed to the 39.6% you had to pay previously. And the last major change that this new tax plan made on your taxes is that it almost doubled your standardized deduction, but it got rid of some of your itemized deductions. The whole idea behind this is now you can save time and money trying to find a whole bunch of itemized deductions trying to save money on your taxes because now you can just take a much higher standardized deduction. Joe Biden says that he would reverse quite a few of these changes. He wants to raise tax brackets higher and he says that he wants wants to bring the highest tax bracket back from 35% up to 39.6% like it was before. So if you're making a million dollars a year in wages, that means you're going to be paying now a top tax bracket of 39.6% as opposed to the 35% under Donald Trump. Most people expected that to happen, but what many people did not expect is that Joe Biden says that he would start adding on social security taxes to all people who make over $400,000 a year in wages. Right now, if you make under $137,700 from your job, then you and your boss are going to split paying 12.4% taxes on your income with your social security taxes. So you're going to pay 6.2% and your boss is going to pay 6.2% in taxes on the $137. But if you make over $137,000, you're not going to pay any of these social security taxes on that amount over $137,000. 
Joe Biden wants to change that. Joe Biden wants to continue taxing your income under $137,000 at the regular 12.4%. So you would pay 6.2% and your boss would pay 6.2%. But his change is if you make over $400,000 a year in wages, now you're going to continue paying that Social Security tax again on all wages over $400,000 a year. This would be a pretty big tax hike on all earners making over $400,000 a year because now you're going to have to pay an additional 12.4% in Social Security taxes split by you and your employer on all income over $400,000 a year. So this is his way of continuing funding the Social Security program. So when it comes to your regular income taxes, Joe Biden wants to raise them, especially for wealthy people. For business taxes, the Trump tax cut slashed corporate taxes from 35% all the way down to 21%, and in exchange, he got rid of quite a few business deductions. The whole idea behind this is corporations have to pay taxes two times. They have to pay taxes once when the business makes money money, and then you have to pay taxes a second time when the business pays out money to people. So this might be an owner of a business or an employee, you have to pay taxes on the income again. So this high tax structure incentivizes business owners to find loopholes. So the hope is if you lower corporate tax rates and get rid of deductions, you will actually make more money in taxes from corporations because now they have less incentive to go out and find all these tax loopholes because tax rates are much lower. Joe Biden is the opposite. He said he's going to raise business taxes. He's says that he wants to raise corporate taxes from 21%, which is where they are right now, not up to 35%, which is what they were before, but up to 28%. Plus, he has talked about imposing some sort of minimum tax requirement on all businesses that make over $100 million a year in profit. Essentially, what he's saying is if you make over $100 million a year in profit, you're either going to pay the regular tax rate, or you're just going to pay a flat minimum 15% tax, whichever is greater. The whole idea behind this is, yeah, although corporate taxes might go up, corporations will be more incentivized now to find tax loopholes and actually bring their effective tax rate down, but this minimum tax requirement will force businesses, even if they have these deductions, to pay a certain amount of money in taxes. The goal with this is to make businesses pay their fair share, and critics say that this is going to slow down economic growth, it's going to give businesses less money, and it's going to slow down employment. The third tax item up for debate is the estate tax, which some people call the death tax. Before Trump, if you died with more than $5.6 million in assets to your name, and these assets pass on to other people, now everything over $5.6 million that you pass on would be taxed at 40%. That's why it's called a death tax. When you die, you have to pay these taxes. With the new Trump tax plan, you're only paying 40% in taxes after $11.2 million in wealth. Joe Biden again said that he would undo the change that Trump made. Joe Biden has hinted that he wants to bring this estate tax limit back down to $5.6 million. So if you die with more than $5.6 million, you're going to be paying 40% taxes once you die on all wealth over the $5.6 million. So these are three of the biggest changes that Donald Trump made in taxes regarding your individual tax corporate taxes and estate taxes and these are the three things that Joe Biden would do at least that's what he says so far if he was elected if Donald Trump is re-elected he first said that he would completely eliminate the social security tax that you have to pay as an employee so that's 6.2 percent but after he said that, his administration retracted his statement and they clarified that if he is re-elected, he would only eliminate that 6.2% tax that you had to pay between September of 2020 and December of 2020 and make it forgivable because right now you can defer these social security taxes, but right now you have to pay it back in 2021. So if he's re-elected, he's saying that he won't make you pay it back. And then he said that if he's re-elected, that he would cut capital gains taxes to encourage people to invest. When you invest your money into stocks or real estate and then you sell this investment for a profit, that's called capital gains taxes. Normally now, the highest tax rate that you can pay on capital gains taxes when you sell your stocks or real estate is 20%. Unless you're really wealthy, then you're going to pay 23.8%. Donald Trump says that he wants to bring the high tax rate down from 20% down to 15% for long-term capital gains. Naturally, it's no surprise that Joe Biden came out and said that he wants to do the opposite. Joe Biden says that he essentially wants to get rid of this long-term capital gains tax protection and make it so if you have long-term capital gains, so if you sell a stock for a profit, it, you are going to have to pay ordinary tax rates, whether it's a short-term gain or a long-term gain. 
So if you make a million dollars in stocks or in real estate or whatever your investments are, you are going to have to pay ordinary tax rates on it no matter how long you own this investment. And he wants to bring the high tax rate up to 39.6%. The whole idea behind this is to stop giving tax breaks to investors and to raise more money for the government. The criticism behind this is you've already paid taxes on the money that you invested. So you go to work and you make money and now you have to pay taxes on the money you make from work. Now, you take this after-tax income and that's the money that you're investing, which is why people get long-term capital gains tax break because you've already paid taxes on this income that you're investing. Now, while Joe Biden wants to raise taxes almost across the board, he does make one exception. He wants to increase tax credits for people who have children and dependents. So if you have children or if you have people relying on you financially, Joe Biden's willing to give you a tax credit that you can use to lower your tax bill, which would offset some of these tax hikes. This is where we are right now. Now, nothing is set in stone because first somebody has to get elected and this person who's elected or re-elected has to then get their tax plan passed and approved. So there's kind of a long process and things will probably change along the way. This is where it helps to stay up to date on what's happening in the finance and business world. And if you're looking for an easy way to do that, well, that's why we created the free Minority Mindset Newsletter, where our team first breaks down the top finance and business news, and then we show you how this news affects your wallet, that way you can be smart with your money. This newsletter is completely free, and you can subscribe to our free finance and business newsletter by clicking the link up here, or by clicking the link in the description below. By the way, our financial news emails are separate from our financial education emails. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it with one friend that way we can help spread the word. If you want to learn more about how you can build a financial plan for your money so you can build wealth, I already made a video on this and you can watch this video on YouTube by clicking this button right over here. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.